feel great. I will tell you this, as far as I, uh, it all comes from the inside. Everything that we eat and we put on our body uh, helps us uh, achieve that. So Vitafusion's registered dietitian and fitness expert has come and put together a very holistic approach that's going to help you feel and look your best. And of course, we have uh, some tips to share with you. We brought in our own expert, Dr. J.J. Levenstein, here to Give us a little bit more on this. Good there to see you, you Doctor. Thank nice you very much. Some Chin tips. is not part of this. No, yeah, no, that right, was right. in the other Just so the you previous know. segment. Previous <laughs> All segment. right, we have some great tips here. Now, the first one that I like to do is I like to take the time at least 15 minutes a day if I can, or at least make it an hour during the week, 15, mm -hmm. 15, 15, to take a bath, sit back, we'll, um, sit in some bubbles and just relax. This and just have your happy hour, alone. Yeah, uh, my happy hour. My happy my hour alone. happened. <laughs> yeah, 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 just yeah. a little bit, bit, yeah. bit ago. And just, just take a little time for myself, even if it's for 15 minutes, just to decompress. No, it's true, and I think there are other, other ways that you can do that, too. If you need to catch up with a friend, pick up the phone or take a walk, which would be great because that's great for your cardio. Right. Even something like catching up on an episode of a TV program that's sitting in your queue on your on your TiVo. Just something that feeds your soul, soul. Yeah. and that's good for your immune system. It just creates a real positive attitude after that hour. And speaking of feeding your soul, never I never try to eat close to bedtime because that interferes with sleep as well. Mm -hmm. And then sleep is so important that you know you get a restless night's sleep if you eat uh, just before you go to bed. Sure, so that's one thing. And the other thing too is to try to avoid caffeine after two or three o'clock in the afternoon because it really does wire you up and maybe alters your sleep cycles. And just like we tell kids to avoid media before bedtime, for us, it's actually a good idea to do that too because our brain chemicals need to sort of decompress and settle down, and that helps us wind into right. deeper, uh, deeper sleep. And what sleep. do you do, Mark? Well, a and couple things on the that I, you know, yeah. <laughs> one of the things I actually like to do are these little power workouts that yeah. I think are so important. You find little moments during the day because a lot of people think oh, you have to spend an hour mm -hmm. working out. That's not true. I try to compress that. Even just doing, you know, a short 15-minute workout helps sure. the mind, helps the body. Sure, and I mean, simple things like walking up the stairs at the mall, or uh, if you're walking your child out in a baby buggy, that you go faster so that you feel your heart rate go up, you feel your uh, breathing go deeper, and those are certainly things that are going to enhance your fitness. Even doing a couple of planks during the day or a few push-ups, I mean, t that takes a few seconds, right. but it actually gives you a good core workout, and it actually makes you feel yeah. good that you've done something good for your yeah. body. So we need to make healthy choices as well, so we have a table full of healthy choices. Let's sure. Do. Let's go down the line. All right, uh, tell Let's us what the, the <clears throat> essential nutrients that we need. Okay, well, biotin is one that you know really isn't the the nutrient that we really talk about quite a bit, but it's so essential for cellular metabolism. It's very very important for wound healing and for the integrity of our hair and skin and nails. So the richest sources of biotin are in egg yolks, mm -hmm. not in egg whites, interestingly enough, but the the yolks themselves, pork. Uh, in uh, whole grain breads and also in yeast and in liver. Mm -hmm. But some of these foods may not be on your top 10 list. Right. Uh, so, but biotin is very, very key element. And without it, we actually have skin that falls apart and we can get dermatitis and other, other conditions mm -hmm. that um, are very uncomfortable, actually. So it's a key nutrient. Vitamins. So, yeah. B, the Bs, the, the B6, 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 the 12, B12, the niacin. niacin. Right, right. So where right. do we get that? So these are the energizer <laughs> bunnies of our bodies. And they actually have, they're multitaskers. So number one, they're great for cardiovascular health, especially uh, niacin. The B vitamins, B6 and B12, are important for building strong blood. It's not just iron, but the B vitamins are important to avoid what's called pernicious anemia. And also, B vitamins are very important for the gut, for absorption of, of our nutrients. Now, the interesting thing is that vitamin, vitamin B6 is not naturally made in our body, so we have to get it from external sources. What's so, the one that's highest in B6? Uh, B6 is, is uh, in lentils, it's in potatoes, it's in some salmon, in some poultry, in fortified cereals as well. However, B12 is made in our gut naturally unless you have inflammatory bowel disease mm -hmm. or you've had surgical removal of parts of your small intestine. Mm -hmm. oh. And in that case, people need B12 supplementation to avoid pernicious anemia and to avoid problems with digestion and also uh, cardiovascular oh. health. I get, you know, my son, uh, Kai, loves grapefruits. I'm mm -hmm. not, I have not been a big grapefruit eater, but he mm -hmm. loves those and that's a good no, source. And we do in our house too. You, you, you guessed it because I think we're all so familiar with the wonderful array of citrus fruits and berries that are out there that are rich mm -hmm. sources of vitamin C. But you didn't probably know that little red peppers are an all, a very, very rich source as well were. as broccoli and as kiwi fruit and also dark <clears throat> leafy greens. And actually when you cook them, their nutrients are much more bioavailable to your uh, uh, to your system rather than eating them raw. Mm -hmm. So you should cook them? You should cook wow. your dark leafy okay. greens and they actually will give you more. Wow, yeah. I didn't yeah. know, I thought you cooked them out. No, okay. and vitamin C is so important. As we know, it's an antioxidant. It's wow. very yeah. important for 
preventing cellular damage, but also for our, our skin as well and our collagen formation. So literally the structural mm -hmm. framework of our skin would fall apart. Our wound healing would fall apart if we didn't have vitamin C and our bones would fall apart and we would develop oh scurvy. Goodness. What about E? Vitamin I, e. I, I love the, uh, the oils from vitamin E, and I eat an avocado a day. I eat a whole avocado. Great, great. It's every the day. healthiest thing. And also, all these nuts that are here, including mm -hmm. peanuts, uh, hazelnuts, and almonds, are rich sources of vitamin E, and vegetable oils as well, especially grapeseed oil and olive oil. And the key thing with vitamin E, again, is that it has antioxidant uh, capabilities. It's one of the best cellular protectors. It's sort of the police force for our cells mm -hmm. to keep everything from breaking down from all the toxins that we breathe in and eat in on a daily basis. So it's key that we get enough vitamin well, E. Another essential one is uh, nutrients is zinc. Zinc. And I love zinc because what I is love zinc? steak. <laughs> okay, what is zinc? Now, zinc is responsible for three really key things in our body. One, it's important for the structural uh, stability of tissue. Mm -hmm. Second of all, it energizes our cells too. So much like the B vitamins, it's a, it's a, it helps trigger multiple chemical reactions in the body, and it also helps regulate a lot of functions, including some immune function as well. So it's kind of an orchestra leader, yeah. a, a policeman, and a, a construction worker all at once. So it's a really, really key element, and it's most richly found in the things I love best: poultry, steak, some yogurt and milk products, mm -hmm. also pecans, um, cashews, and garbanzo beans as well so again a lot of these things may be on your diet a lot may not and so it's really key that we we are aware of where the rich yeah. natural sources are but where where we can well, find clearly you look at this you see a balanced diet but mm -hmm. that's not always an easy thing to do with that's, our lifestyles and you know me I'm up and down and trying mm -hmm. and it, seasonally it, it, too just finding things in the market sometimes yeah. these are hard to find yeah that's right and, and even some of us who really love to eat and balanced I know you do because you're always cooking amazing meals we don't always get the nutrients that we need in our food multivitamins like Vitafusion, multivites can help supplement that diet of yours. There's some right there to show you. Uh, if you'd like some more information on Vitafusion Multivites, you can go to vitafusion.com. You get all sorts of information there. Some of the stuff that we shared here is so important as well.